how the Grand Inga Dam will provide about 40% of Africa's electricity. The Grand Inga Dam is the world's largest proposed hydropower scheme. It is the centerpiece of a grand vision to develop a continent-wide power system. The Grand Inga Mega Project is a priority project for a number of Africa development organizations, including the New Partnership for Africa's Development, NEPAD, Southern Africa Development Community, SADC, East African Power Pool, EAP, and ESCOM, Africa's largest power utility, among others. Hello, Displorers! Welcome to another interesting video brought to you by Displor. The proposed dam is the fourth and largest of a series of dams that have been built or are proposed for the lower end of the Congo River in the DRC. Grand Inga will generate 40,000 megawatts and will be constructed in six phases, of which the Inga 3 dam is the first phase. The power generated would be double the capacity of the largest dam in the world, the Three Gorges Dam in China. Before we proceed with this video, if you're new here, welcome and please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications for more interesting videos about Africa. Location of the project The Inga dams are located in Western Democratic Republic of Congo. 50 km upstream of the mouth of the Congo River and 225 km southwest of Kinshasa on the Congo River. The Congo River is the world's second largest in terms of flow after the Amazon and the second longest river in Africa at 4,700 km after the Nile River. It empties into the equatorial Atlantic Ocean, creating what is famously known as the Congo Plume. The plume is a high productivity area arising from the rich nutrient flow from the river and is detected as far as 800 km offshore. The plume accounts for 40-80% to 80 of total carbon productivity and is one of the largest carbon sinks in the world. The river is unique in that it has large rapids and waterfalls very close to the mouth, while most rivers have these features upstream. The dam site is on the largest waterfall in the world by volume, the Inga Falls. Inga Falls is a series of falls and rapids that drop in elevation via small rapids. The main falls are 4 km wide, dropping to about 21.37 meters near a bend and forming hundreds of channels and rivulets and many small islands. At the Grand Inga site, the Congo River drops 96 meters in a run of 14.5 km. The falls are currently incorporated into the Inga 1 and Inga 2 hydroelectric facilities. The volume of the river diverted for Inga 1 and Inga 2 is approximately 30% of the average discharge. It is postulated that if the Grand Inga project is built, it will draw as much as two-thirds of the river water, if not more. Design The Grand Inga would be constructed in six development phases, with Inga 3 being the first of these phases. Inga 3 will be constructed in two steps, initially a low head and then a high head, extending the dam wall and making it higher. There will be no closure on the Congo River and no tunnels, just an open channel. And when completed, Inga 3 will produce 4,800 megawatts of electricity. Further stages will necessitate the flooding of the Bundi Valley to form a 22,000 hectares reservoir and drowning of the Inga 3 channel. The latest design approach allows the development of Grand Inga to have independent phases that can be operated by different operators. Cost Grand Inga Dam has been estimated to cost 80 billion US dollars, including cost of transmission lines needed to carry its power across Africa and potentially to Europe. Many consider the amount to be an underestimate. Potential contributors are the World Bank, the African Development Bank, and the European Investment Bank. The World Bank is supporting the technical aspect of Inga 3, first of six phases of the Grand Inga scheme, and is equally playing an advisory role. 
The bank's technical support is in the form of a $50 million grant to cover all technical studies that need to be carried out, training of officers to set up Inga 3 Dam Authority, and the development of a communication plan for the project. The African Development Bank has provided $15 million since 2010 to conduct a feasibility study of both the Grand Inga and the Inga 3 Hydro project. The study was undertaken by a Canadian-French consortium and in June 2013, the African Development Bank, together with the DRC government, signed two agreements for a total of $5.250 million in Marrakesh. These grants fall within the framework of the Fragile State Facility FSF, and are intended to provide technical assistance for the development of INGA. Grant INGA is being financed under a public and private partnership structure and is listed by the G20 multilateral development banks as one of the top 10 exemplary transformational projects, that is large projects meant to have a significant impact on development. Due to the G20 push for the large infrastructure investment, the World Bank has updated its infrastructure investment strategy, of which the Grant INGA is being considered. The strategy is to source finances from both private and public sources and fund the project through a private-public partnership model. Why is Grand Inga being proposed? Africa faces a huge energy gap that has contributed to slow economic development and poverty. On the other hand, Africa has a huge potential for all forms of energy, hydropower, solar, wind, and fossil fuel energy. The proponents of the Grand Inga project, mainly African government and developmental organizations, consider hydropower to be clean renewable energy. They have put forward arguments that the Grand Inga hydropower scheme will provide cheaper and readily available energy and allow Africa's industrial and manufacturing industry to take off. In addition, the project is promoted as being good for promoting peace in the region and for the environment. However, a number of concerns that include environmental and social impact of this project have not yet been addressed and all energy options are still to be explored. What is the current status of the project? South Africa and DRC signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the development of Grand Inga, and the two governments signed a cooperation treaty to jointly develop the Inga 3 Dam. South Africa will purchase 2,500 megawatts of the 4,300 megawatts generated, making it the principal buyer for Inga 3 electricity. Following the signing of the treaty, the DRC relaunched the process for the selection of a developer and established the first phase objective of the Inga Dam and laid the foundation stone. A number of consortia, including Shino Hydro, the Three Gorges Corporation from China, Actividades de Construcción y Servicios, Eurofinsa, AEE from Spain, and Daewoo Posco from Korea are either currently bidding for selection or bidded as developers of the Grand Inga. The Terms of Reference for the Inga 3 Social and Environmental Impact Assessment SEIA studies were posted in early July 2013 for public comments. What are the likely negative impacts of the dam? The Grand Inga is a massive project that will require huge sums of money for its realization and astute management for tendering process and implementation. Based on history, there are high risk of corrupt deals and ever escalation of cost. By its unique ecological system, huge ecological impacts that include nutrient and sediment trapping, loss of mid Atlantic plumes are anticipated. Diverting flow of the Congo River to create a reservoir will flood the Bundi Valley, affecting local agricultural lands and natural environments and may cause huge methane emissions that will contribute to global warming. The effect of reduced flow in the Congo River may cause loss of biodiversity and a shift in the dominant species. 
The flooded area may also create an environment which is conducive for the breeding of waterborne vectors, such as the Malaquine mosquito. Transmission lines always result in huge corridors of forest being cleared. The DRC has the world's second largest wind forest, and loss of the forest to create paths for the electricity transmission lines will have significant environmental and social impacts, not to mention the security and maintenance risks posed by such a long transmission system. Very little of the electricity generated by Grant Inga will provide for the city or village-level power to Congolese people. There are mentions that the power will uplift the DRC, but so far, there is no strategy on the table to show how the poor communities will access this electricity. Project Studies There are concerns that 94% of the people in DRC have no electricity, and yet, the continent's biggest infrastructure investment is all for the extractive industries and faraway urban centers. Further travels are the impacts the dam will have on sediment transportation and biogeochemical processes in the Atlantic. Possible carbon emissions from the reservoir, no matter how small, and largely, the socioeconomic impact. The socioeconomic impacts include impact on the people living in that area that will be inundated and the whole cost benefit for the poor people of the DRC, especially in terms of debt burden and access to modern electricity. There you have it, the explorers, everything about the Grand Inga Dam and how it will provide 40% of the continent's electrical power. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on our next upload. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think about the Grand Inga Dam. Also make sure to share this video with your friends.